It's been a while since I've done a makeup look, like just a general look. thought I'd sit down and do that today. Lately, I have been inspired by Pony Syndrome. I've just watched maybe three or four of her videos, but I really like a lot of the stuff that she's doing. This is inspired by her. I'm not copying a tutorial, and I need to watch more to really understand the techniques and the ideas that she's coming across with. But if you want to see my take, a very casual take on the Asian look, keep on watching. I'm the Hooded Lid, and welcome to my channel. I'm trying the Bite Foundation again. This is an L30, which seems to be a pretty decent match for me. And I just, I wasn't 100% sure on it. So I've tried it a couple of more times with different moisturizers and different sunscreens. I can tell you right now my face already feels a teeny bit tight. I'm guessing from the sunscreen that I used. But I do think it's very pretty and worth trying a couple of more times. It definitely is silicone-y, which might not be everybody's jam. Now I'm going to build. I find that if you wear a sunscreen, this is not a slap and go, that it does require a little bit of finessing. It doesn't blend super well, if I'm being perfectly honest. It goes on nicely, but then when you look around, it's like, oh, that's not blended in, that's not blended in. I finished with the Beauty Blender. It's a beautiful, beautiful blend. There's two things about the Asian look that are very important. Impeccable skin, which I'm not going to be able to accomplish, I know, but glass skin. And glass skin doesn't have to be super shiny, but radiance is important. So I'm gonna build a little bit more. Rather than blending with my fingers, I'm going to build with the Beauty Blender. I do find this kind of fussiness. I get it a lot with dimethicone heavy foundations. All right, I've been giving this a try under my eyes off and on. If you follow me, you know I've been on a journey, a real, a real journey for my under eyes. Um, and this one I bought a couple of weeks ago and I've only tried it a few times. Time to try it again. Just make sure your fingers are clean every time you dip in here because your makeup will get in here. It's kind of gross. And I always like to put a little something on my lips, but I don't like to do it before I put on my foundation because I don't want to get it in my foundation. So a little lippy. One of the Asian looks that I really like is the look where you're using the same color on your lips, on your cheeks, on your eyes. And this Urban Decay product is perfect for that. So I have one that's kind of that rosewood mulberry color, and then I have a brown, which is great for fall. I just don't know what mood I'm in today. I kind of want to mix them. So let's. So put some on my hand, mix them together, and let's just go on the lids. I just want the makeup to set a little bit before I add any blush. I think that's really, really pretty. There's nothing on my lids. And I'm just kind of feeling my orbital bone. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do my fingers or a duo fiber. Since my fingers got a lot going on, I may as well use the fingers. Now they like to use the blush quite high, which I think is very youthful and it brings out the colors of your eyes. It's very lively. I'm all about it. So let's do it. Just going to wipe off my fingers and working on blending in the edges. I got a different color of the Flawless Fusion by Laura Mercier. I do like this. I had a 2 Cool 2C. This is a 1N. The 2C was too dark for me. You can see in several of the videos 
it's just not working. And this one is too light. I'm somewhere in between and I really don't want to get two colors. So I'm going to mix it with something else and hope for the best. Do the lightest right here. And then a Bendy Avocado. They're not similar at all. So the Bendy Avocado, I'm not looking for coverage. I'm just looking for color. And this Bendy Avocado I don't wear by itself either. I, I have two of those and I'll mix those together. I'm just, how is it that I'm, I'm in the middle of everything? And I'm dabbing really lightly. It seems to be a decent color. So I got a little bit on the inside right here and that helps to open up the eyes and freshen up this look a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of this mauve rosewoody color and bring that higher. Wipe off the fingers again for blending. I do think I got my blush a little too low here. All right, I'm still experimenting under the eyes. I used the Becca today, and now I'm going to go in with the powder with the puff. You, you won't get creasing with this, but I found that it really sucked the life out of my under eyes and just looked bad. But I'm going to try it again. Maybe with this Becca, it'll be better. Blend in this line here and turn it around. You know, I'm going to try different powder on the different eye. I wonder if it's the powder or the process. So that's the Brightening Powder by Laura Mercier, and I'm going to try the By Terry Powder, which is a hyaluronic powder. And whatever's left, so I usually don't apply powder this way. I'll just put around the nose and the cheeks, a little on the chin a little bit in the center of the forehead. Yeah, I really don't like putting on powder this way. I'm just taking the butt to make that a little nicer. Tell me what you think, the difference between these two eyes. I'm not sure I see a difference, but I'm not looking close up. All right, I'm gonna do some lining and some mascara and my eyebrows, and I'll be right back to finish up with the lips. Since I feel I brought my blush a little too low, I'm going in with a little more foundation and just going to try to make a correction for that. Hmm. Another thing I find very interesting about Asian looks are what they do with the lips. Sometimes they will line with something quite, quite light and do an ombre, make that liner part of the ombre look but they usually have lips that are much, much fuller than mine. I wouldn't do an ombre starting with lightest on the outside, but rather lightest on the inside. Either way, I'm not going to try that. That is something I am going to be practicing though, and I think I'm gonna do, obviously, I'm going to do another version of this after studying some more videos. But another thing they do is that soft look, that unlined look and kind of hazy lip. The, there's a word for it and I can't remember what the word is, but that's what I'm going to try now. And just taking off any extra. And this product is perfect for that kind of unlined, hazy look on the lips. I'm gonna start with the brown one. And kind of go in the center and push out. So where the line of the color starts isn't aligned on the vermilion, the outer edge. And now go in with a rosewood kind of color. There. It's really a pretty easy look. If you find a color that you like, you could kind of go out of town with just this and your foundation and make a nice little look. I'm gonna pull you in so you can get a better look. And these are the two colors. This is the brown, this is what I'm calling the rosewood, but I'll put the colors below. I 
think is very pretty. Now, I feel like I need a little highlighter just for that whole glass look thing. And nothing's better than the Charlotte Tilbury. I just do two dots. And a little on the nose. I love to put a little highlighter in between the eyes. I think it just opens everything up and makes it fresh and light. That's it. Let me know what you think. I think it's a very, very pretty look. I don't think I nailed the Asian look. I need to practice on this a little bit, um, but I still think it's pretty nonetheless. I think it's really easy to do, and I'm, I'm very pleased. So I hope I might have inspired you to try some of these really beautiful kind of watercolor Asian looks where you're using the same color on your lips, your cheeks, and your eyes. I think it can be really fresh and really easy. And um, I'm not upset about it. I don't think I accomplished the look, but I accomplished a look that's very pretty. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you come back again. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you a great day.